in power system analysis uh, unit number 5 is power system stability so first we'll define what is power system stability and then uh, in this video we'll see the classification of power system stability and what are the criteria uh, uh, which uh, depending on which we can say a system is stable or not so first we'll start with definition of power system stability so power system stability it is that property of power system which enables it to remain in a state of operating equilibrium under both under uh, both conditions first condition is under normal operating condition and and the other is the state in which a power system is subjected to disturbance and after this that disturbance if the power system regains its equilibrium then the system is said to be or power system is said to be stable so now uh, for a power system to be stable the important condition is under normal operating condition or under disturbance equilibrium has to be or after disturbance equilibrium has to be maintained so for, we will see what is this equilibrium for this take a small example in which a small power system in which a generator is connected to load uh, for this small power system equilibrium will be maintained if and only if the active power demand by this load is supplied by the generator voltage at this terminal is maintained uh, and as well as frequency is maintained if these three uh, parameters are maintained the system is said to be in equilibrium or is stable now next we will see the stability limit it is the maximum power that can flow through a particular point in a system or it is the part of the system without losing equilibrium uh, that is uh, or in simple words we can say that for a given power system the maximum amount of power that can transfer from one end to other end without losing equilibrium that maximum power transfer is stability limit of a given system next we will see the classification now the power system stability is classified depending upon the type uh, depending upon the uh, manner in which the load is added or removed from the system first as per the uh, classification first is steady state stability and other is transient stability so uh, power system will be said as steady state stable if and only if the load is added when the load is added or removed gradually under that condition if the system remains power system given power system remains in equilibrium that system will be said to be steady state stable now the criteria for this system to be stable uh, the amount of addition or removal of gradual load that can be done to the system uh, determine its criteria so criteria for system to be steady state stable is as with the increase in load angle delta p should also increase or we can say dp by d delta should be positive if this condition is satisfied with uh, uh, gradual addition or removal of load system will be steady state stable or we can say uh, 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 stability that we are seeing is steady state stability now the next one is transient stability for uh, system to be transiently stable if the load is added suddenly or is removed suddenly under that condition if after uh, the uh, sudden addition or removal of load if system remains stable the system power system is said to be transiently stable for this the criteria is d delta by dt should be equal to zero uh, delta is the load angle and or we can say that with uh, if the uh, uh, with the addition or removal of certain addition or removal of load there will be uh, oscillation of the rotor about a, a new steady state position and if this oscillation die out uh, within a specified time that is d delta by dt is if it is zero then we say that system is transiently stable 